half out, you know, the audience is ready to buy the combination of just love, the mysterious elements of love, and the uh, science of there just being a missing spark, a last minute little kind of defibrillator kind of jolt to kick in the last circuit on Wally. And so this hand holding and kiss, or the equivalent of a kiss by them touching with a little electric shot, I felt the audience would want and would buy in uh, the end of their story. And you would feel that that entire equation was the missing little step that uh, Wally to fully come back. And I'm a sucker for these kind of stories. So we certainly, of course, all, we always do went back into the film and set up all this stuff so it would all feel organic and, and intentional through the whole movie. And it was, it was nice. It was nice to end the movie so quiet and just spend a lot of time with each of these shots. We found ourselves constantly adding more time and more time and just really taking its time. Because in a weird way, that's what we did at the beginning of the movie. And it has a nice symmetry to it. it kind of brings it back down to its essence and you feel like regardless of the state of humanity and all these people being on earth now it's back down to just the two of them on their own little island whether it's just emotional now or real I didn't mention the hand holding but uh, because we had our two main characters not be able to express how they feel about one another and you can't say I love you I had to come up with a visual for that and by seeing the two lovers hold hands in that song, Hello Dolly, and knowing that that's one of the most uh, intimate displays of affection you can have in public, is to hold hands. Uh, you'll typically see a couple, if they're not that serious, they don't hold hands. But when they're starting to get serious, suddenly they're holding hands in public. It's, it's a pretty public expression of, of how much somebody feels about another person. And I thought that was the best way to show that. So that's why we used them as their a way of communicating to or for us as the audience to know how far along is the relationship getting, what is Wally's intentions and how does he feel about him yet, you know. So her learning to hold hands and learning what it means and then to suddenly do it back is basically saying I love you. So we're now uh, in the end credits. We had a couple screenings where it was interesting. Half the audience would decide that humanity was still in a bad way, going to eventually just live for maybe a couple weeks and then they'd all die out because they didn't seem too smart. And then the other half wanted to be very optimistic that they'd figure it all out and do it right this time. So I didn't want to change the movie. Um, I liked the way I, I had ended it. So what felt like a nice little sort of uh, security blanket for those that see the glass as half 